Ann and I are in this together. That's crazy, man. Go, Jiggly Biggly. Bye, Mom, Mimi. You got this. Love you. Hit him with ya. Hit him with that crazy, cush ass leaf. God, Mimi, I love you. How many times have I said I love you, Mimi, in this whole entire fucking playthrough? I love my Pokemon. I'm a great trainer. Hey, it's a cool fairy. So happy you didn't become the main mascot of Pokemon, because I would have hated it. Clefairy is not a design that I like. It's not terrible, but... I'd rather not. It's kind of ugly, too. <laughs> Good job, Clefairy. Good job. Good job. Good job, you dumb bitch. You fucking stupid idiot. You moron. Twins were defeated. Hmm, a little too strong. Hmm, a little too strong, I see. Hmm, yes. Oh, come on, repel war off. I just want to see what the fuck is back here. Chill out, alright? Chill out, man. Oh, it's just a bunch of useless ass apricots. Apricot. Apricorns. I don't know. Fuck. Pokemon can't do a thing if they're asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. You put my Pokemon to sleep, I'm just gonna hop over this fucking... I'm just gonna hop over my Pokemon and just start beating the shit out of you with my fist. Drowsy. Oh yeah, you wanna put my Pokemon to sleep, you're gonna have to catch me first, bitch. Hit him with the headbutt! Fudoof! Oh fuck, you got some physical defense. Oh, disable. Oh shit. That's not fun. You're no fun. You're anti-fun, I don't like you. Good job, Mimi. I lost. That's pretty sad. Yeah, you are a sad person. Stay sad. Eckerteak City! We're here! We built this city! Alright, Eckerteak City is known for its awesomeness. Talk to me. The tower that used to be here, my grandma told me it used to be much taller. What is it? In the silver version, it would be the silver tower or whatever, and in heart version, it would be the gold tower. I mean, heart version. Silver version and heart version. Yeah, uh... Silver and gold version, it's like the gold tower or whatever. Alright, and here in Eckerteak is where we can get our next partner in crime. But first, head over to the gym. You talk to this guy, and he's all like, Morty. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> Gee, Rick, I caught a case for uh, beating my wife. Morty, I'm gonna tell you what you can do. You're gonna head to jail, and you're gonna need to take these items. They're gonna, they're gonna search you, Morty. You need to hide them. You need to take them up your ass. You need to shove them way up your ass. Morty, the gym leader, is absent. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. Ho 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 ho. And he fucking shoves you out. Strong ass old man, are you kidding me? Dude, I'm gonna be honest, I would love to hear a like fucking internet historian and his like his like gaming channel or whatever, game mode or whatever, to fucking take like one of the Pokemon games and just do an explain like Pokemon explain of it. That should be so funny. Uh I mm. <coughs> Um I'm be honest, I really don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh I wanna say Usin. Houston? I I don't mm. For some reason I'm I'm drawing a blank right now and it's probably probably an easy ass name, but I just I just don't know how to yeah, my brain's not working right now. Uh My name is that. Don't, don't know, you, you sign? Whatever. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. 
Sorry, I paused for a moment because I looked at Suicune. I'm like, is your name Suicune backwards? Am I crazy? Am I losing my mind here? And you are. Fire, glad to meet you. I'd heard rumors that Suicune is in this burnt tower, so I came looking. But there, but where exactly could it be? Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, for some <laughs> for some reason, I'm like, your name is Suicune backwards. That'd be fucked up. Morty! Hey, buddy! Ecritique's gym leader has to be studying... Uh, has to be study. What, what... God, I had, like, a stroke reading that. Has to study what are said to be the legendary Pokémon Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. Uh, you, you sign... You, you seen... I don't fucking know. Is here, so I've decided to investigate the tower with him. Alright, Morty. Over there, we can see Silver, our fucking rival, but... Also in the Burnt Tower, again, and in this version of the game, is where we're gonna get our teammate. Our next teammate. But, in the original version of the game, I believe you have to wait until you get to Mount Silver. Or, or maybe somewhere before Mount Silver. So, same kind of thing with, like, with Mischievous, where, like, you know, I had to, I had to trade her into the game because we didn't have her. Maybe a Pokemon can break this. I don't have... Wait, no, we just go the other way, right? Because I don't have Rock Smash. You don't get Rock Smash until after you fight... Uh... What's his fucking name? It's a coughing! He'll then soon be wheezing. And one day, he will be choking. But for now... It's just coughing. Don't you fucking explode, you piece of shit. Man, what's that dank-ass fucking shit you're smoking over there, buddy? Poison gas? Oh, fuck. Oh fuck, it just poisons. I thought it was like an attack. Like smog. 26. Getting stronger every day. Was that my last antidote? Oh fuck, you're gonna die. Oh, you're gonna die, Mimi. Oh! Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with that. I I forget that every time, every time you get poisoned, the game tries to give you a seizure. Oh my god, alright. Hold up. We're gonna take a couple of steps at a time, because I don't want to fucking trigger anybody. Why did I walk to the gym? Sorry. We're gonna take this slow. I care for you people. And I don't want you guys to start seizing on the ground, because you're watching Pokemon. Fucking poison. What the fuck? Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Oh, Fire? Hey, you come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past, but you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So, you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. But simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye oh, bye bye now! So I think that's for transferring your, uh, you know. This is Crystal version, so I think that's for transferring your Pokemon from Gold. Or maybe from like red and blue or something like that. Thanks for the wait. Your Pokemon are fully healed. Hope to see you again. Hope I don't get poisoned again. You know what? Actually, so we can avoid having to walk. I don't want. I don't want nobody seizing on the ground watching this shit. So fucking. So we're gonna just gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up like 15 of these. Part of being a <coughs> part of being a good let's player isn't just making it fun and informational and all that other bullshit. No, 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 no. You gotta also take care of the people out there. You know, it's all about the people. The people. Alrighty. <laughs> It's a fucking zoo, bat, bat, bat. It's useless as shit, bat, 
bad. Well, actually, it's better when it turns into a crowbat. That Pokemon is pretty rad. Crowbat. Oh. I think I have a knock at the door, so I will be right back <laughs> and answer that. Alright, I'm back. Nobody was at the door. It was just noises being made in my house. Yeah? Oh, it's you. I came looking for some legendary Pokemon that they said roosted here. But there's nothing here! Nothing after all the trouble of coming to this dump? No way. It's all your fault! What the fuck, you got problems, buddy? Everything good at home? Do you have a home? Silver wants the battle! Take this! He has a Haunter? He does have a Haunter, I forgot. I just, I just thought he would still have, like, a Ghastly at this point. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is a bad, this is a bad matchup. Razor Leaf! So you don't got that many poison moves, do you? You got like poison gas or like poison sting or anything like that. Yeah, you only got like lick. I don't even think you have Shadow Ball yet. Maybe you have Nightshade on you? But... Maybe you have Nightshade. Just pulls out a, an NES copy of, of the game Nightshade. Like, yeah, I got this. This game sucks. I'm gonna get so many experience points for kicking your ass. I was I was waiting for that to happen. I mean, when you look at me so much, how can I how can I stay still? You know, how can I not stay still? Get me to seize up. Get it because of the Pokemon sex, you see. Alright, I'm paralyzed. Got to send out Zubat. Zubat's gonna get fucked up. Why would you send Zubat out? You want that thing to die? It's fucking screaming at me. It's gonna die now. It may be slow, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna get you. That's a critical hit. Oh, I feel so bad for you. Leech like Oh, that's bad for me. Oh, but your, your stats are just garbage, then. No, I'm paralyzed. Fuck. It's healing itself. Whatever shall I do? About to use Quilava. I know when I'm beat. I'm paralyzed. Half health. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Send that boy out there. Have him do the work. Man, that fucking Equilaw has got some mean ass cake on him. You see that? <laughs> All right, hit him with the water gun. Now, laser beam ass motherfucker. Okay, make that boy wet. Super effective, but I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, <coughs> I'm not a, I'm not a special attacker. So hit him with a slam. Fuck. Hit him with a headbutt. Slam always misses. There you go, that's bad. Oh, well, it made no difference, honestly. Critical hit. Oh, that's a mean-ass hit. There you go. Man, that's a lot of experience. Fuck. Got to use Magnemite. I'm a steel type now, says Magnemite. Which is really stupid while while I'm sitting on a grass type, because I don't I don't think oh you can get poison though. How much damage will that do to me? Oh fuck. Oh fuck your pair Oh damn it. I don't wanna heal my paralysis because I feel like fucking Magnemite would just hit me with like fucking Thunder Wave or some shit. Oh my god! <laughs> alright, alright, okay. Alright, 
Mimi, either you're gonna die this turn or you're getting switched out. That, that's a, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, the fucking, yeah, that, alright. We're just gonna... Miles Marak, you got this. Get him, Miles Marak, this! Miles Maracness. Hit him with that nightshade. Torture him. Make him think about you and your dreams. Make him think about you and your dreams. What? I meant to say, make him think about you and his dreams. <coughs> Good job, Miles. Hmph. This was- uh, I, I, I've read that poorly. We're just gonna forget that I did that, okay? This is why I hate battling wimps. There's no challenge in it. You fucking lost! Eh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyways. Well, my dick is bigger. Oh, shit! Inf. What are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are. I could break my neck. Serves you right. You're a... What the fuck? Could have broken my neck, you bitch. There you go, Mimi. Alright, now we are in the location that we need to be in order to get our new teammate. Yes, it has to be in the basement of the fucking tower, and it has to be in the daytime, I believe. And we are in the daytime, so we're just gonna run around, right? Bam, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, bam, bam. It's not a zoo bat. I don't want you on my team. I don't like you at all, bitch. Get away. Get away from me. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get this Pokemon. I'm gonna lose my mind if it does. Fucking Zubat. So many Zubats and coughings and shit. Rattata? What the fuck are you doing down here? <laughs> what? Come on, man. Well, it is, it is like a abandoned building, but whatever, dude. There's no food to be to be down here. Oh my god, it's gonna take us forever to find this goddamn Pokemon. Are you serious? All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do one more choice encounter. All right, a random encounter. It's not the Pokemon that I'm gonna cut away. Nope. Not coughing. Alright. Time to cut away. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, I'm in this. I'm of the sneaking suspicion that the time of day might have changed while we were in the tower. So, we're just. I, I just had like 50 encounters and I have not ran into the Pokemon that I'm looking for. So we're just gonna move on with the story a little bit so we can get out of this tower and then check again. Or maybe the Pokemon doesn't appear until after uh, the legendaries leave, so uh... We're just gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna move on a little bit. Cause I'm running into nothing but Zubat, coughing, the one wheezing, and fucking Rotatas. That was weird. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, shit. Fucking Rotata shaking his ass at me all the time. I see him and really. <laughs> I was gonna say, and this really rhymes, but I, it sounded like a lame thing to say, so I kind of panicked. I dug a hole here too. Uh, what? Okay, I dug a hole. Oh, fuck. I dug a hole here too. I was shocked. Suicune raced by like a blur right in front of my eyes. For ten years I chased Suicune. 
and I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. Fire, I owe this all to you. Thank you. I heard that the legendary Pokemon of Ekertig test, uh, test chosen humans by allowing them to get close. I'm gonna track, sweet coon. Fire, let's meet again. Farewell. Alright. I believe, at this point, um, now Suicune is out in the wild. Uh, Suicune, I believe, is in a specific location, uh, that you can just, you know, when you have the means to get there, you just get there, right? As for Entei and Raikou, they are random encounters that they travel across the fucking, or across the region, and don't worry, don't worry, I'm going to grab them. Because, like I said in Gen 1, when it comes to Legendary Pokemon, we're only really going to be highlighting the new ones that you can get within that game. So, uh... So we don't have any fucking annoying-ass moments like in, um... Like in, what, what is it, in the Alola region? In Sun and Moon, where you gotta fucking fly all around at different times of the day and all this extra shit? Like, that's so much work, it's like... The, the spectacle of it is cool, right? Going through, like, wormholes and shit like that, but, like, you know? Like, having to do it at certain times of the day and all this other shit, certain days of the week and all that other shit, it's so much work. It's too annoying. Alright. So, it's still daytime out here, so I don't know why the fuck that Pokemon didn't appear. I think maybe I just had to wait for the, uh, for the legendary dogs to get out of there. Right? Pop a save state. Um... And then... Uh, we're just gonna run back in, because... You know? Pokemon is here at the bottom somewhere, it just didn't spawn. Maybe it has a low-ass spawn rate. But I know it has to be in the daytime, so... <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna do like five encounters, and then if it doesn't pop up, fuck it, I'm just gonna... I cut away again because god damn it because it's a really good Pokemon second Rattata second encounter three more and then I'll cut away because I don't want to waste your time but the Pokemon should be over here in this area. Bam, 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 bam. Coughing, my dude. Hell yeah, look at you, my guy. You're flying in the sky. And you're levitating quite high. Uh, I'm trying my best here. Alright, I'm trying not to go insane. <coughs> Fuck! Man, this Pokemon doesn't want to show up. What the hell? I don't remember it being this fucking rare. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh my god. Alright, well, we're cutting away. Because, uh... I'm not letting you guys sit through this. The egg is hatching. We're gonna find out what exactly that fucking egg is. Because I don't remember getting an egg from- Is it an Eevee? It's gotta be an Eevee, right? From daycare center? Oh, it's a fucking Smoochum? What the hell? No, I'm not giving a nickname. I didn't even know you can get a Smoochum from the daycare. What the fuck? Alright, well... Alright, Smoochum is the pre-evolved form of Jinx. If you want an Ice-type to rock with in this game, you got Smoochum. Uh... I... Because it evolves into Jinx, I think with an Ice Stone, maybe? Um, either that or just levels up, and it learns like, I don't know, slap or something, I don't know, ice punch or something like that. Um, but yeah, sm smooch on the, uh, huh, ice psychic type. I, I didn't know you can get a smooch on okay. I would've, I would've considered having a smooch on my team, but since it evolves into Jinx, I still count it as a Gen 1 Pokemon, rather than a Gen 2 Pokemon, so, uh, yeah, that's cool. So, uh, yeah, back to Pokemon hunting. Uh, 
Okay. So we're back. Um, I think I might have figured out what the problem was as to why the Pokemon wasn't appearing. And I think the game was set to like morning time rather than daytime. Yeah, I know, right? So, because when I checked the in-game clock, it was like 8 o'clock or something like that. So now I set it to 10 and surely, surely it should be considered daytime. Holy fuck. Because I was sitting here trying to fucking find this damn Pokemon, and I, uh... I didn't... I didn't know. I just didn't know, man. I just... Eh, my brain is fried right now. So, I'm gonna cut away until I grab the Pokemon. Hopefully I have it set to the right time. And then, uh, you know, we'll continue. My brain hurts. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say about this. All right, next one to join our team is here. It's going to be Slugma, right? Slugma is a Pokemon in which hopefully I don't kill it right now because if I do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start crying. Um, there we go. Perfect. Slugma is a Pokemon that when I was looking at Gen 2 Pokemon, I was like, hmm, it would be nice to have a fire type on our team, right? And then... I saw Slugma, Slugma name pop up, and I was like, what? You're a Gen 3 Pokemon, what the fuck? <laughs> I was so confused. Because every time I look at Slugma and fucking uh, Markar... I can never say its name. Markargo. Um, I always think it's a uh, Gen 3 Pokemon, right? Because when it comes to Gen 3, it severely lacks in Fire-type Pokemon. I think the only, like, Gen 3 exclusive... Um, like, introductions for fire types was literally the Torchic line, Torkoal, and... and Numel, and Camerupt, right? And I think those were the- and Groudon, of course. And I think those were the only fire type Pokemon introduced in Gen 3. Right? But anyways, Slugma, the lava Pokemon, these groups to gather an area that that it's hotter than normal. If it cools off, its skins hardens. We're gonna be nicknaming him, of course. Slugma's nickname, because I'm pretty sure people probably wanted me to rock this Pokemon in Gen 2, so Slugma's gonna fill the role of this Pokemon. And instead of Larvitar, we're gonna have Avatar. You see what I did there? <laughs> Cool. Alright, cool. I'm gonna save state that because I don't wanna ever do that shit again. Alright. <clears throat> and then, uh, all we need to do is beat Ekertik. Head on over to Jasmine, and I believe she gives us Surf. And once we are able to do that, we will be able to, uh, get our last team member. Everything's looking up and up. And that's the team we're going to be rocking for the entirety of Gen 2. That also includes the Kanto region because, you know, I was like, eh, I was, because usually when I play, um, when I play, uh, Johto, right, play Gen 2 Pokemon, I head to Kanto, I mean, a lot of people do this. You restart with a new team, right? Probably a Kanto team, because it's Kanto. But, since... In this Pokemon Marathon, that has lasted for over a year now, because I took a- I took a hiatus during that. Um... We're gonna be visiting Gen- uh, Gen- We're gonna be visiting Kanto a lot, right? And having like five different teams for Kanto... It's a lot, and there's only a certain amount of Pokemon you can use before you just start running out of the interesting ones, and you're like, Oh, uh, I'm rocking the Tauros this time, I guess. I like Tauros, but don't get me wrong, it's like, you know, you want some fun choices. Like, Porygon, that was a fun choice when we did that, right? I think that team was great. Each and every one of those Pokemon are memorable for, for being in Gen 1, right? You know? But, uh, there's also, we gotta make room for other Pokemon. I healed my Pokemon, but I didn't switch out. So, Slugma over here. It's great Fire-type Pokemon, right? And then, I think... I'm trying to think if it's pure fire, or if it goes into fire rock. 
but I think it's a pure fire type, even when he when it evolves into Marcargo. But it learns Rock Throw, and it can learn Rock Throw, Stone Edge, and I think Earthquake, Magnitude. I think it's another move it learns, but I think Magnitude's a Gen three move. Um, but yeah, we're gonna deposit our Pokemon here. Bell Sprout, you're still gonna be hanging out with us because we need you for your HMs. But come withdrawal, our boy. We love him so much. All right, Lavatar. It's gonna be rocking with us. Let's see what he's rocking with right now. Should have Ember. Look at that. Smog and Ember. That's cool. Attack, defense, special defense, and uh, wait, what? Oh, special attack and special defense. So, uh, I'm trying to remember. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to remember um, what this Pokemon excels at, and I think it's very defensive. It doesn't seem like it right now, but this Pokemon, I think it's well, special attack you can obviously see up there, but. It, it's a pretty well-balanced Pokemon. The only problem is that it's slow as shit. But this guy probably is going to be the tank on our team. He's level 12 right now, so, you know, right now, uh, right now he don't got, right now he don't got too much, right? So we're going to throw him in the front. I don't think he'll really do much in the uh, gym that we're heading to right now, but, you know, Gotta show him off a little bit. I'm a chef, chef too.